In Uganda, 22% of women experience sexual violence during COVID-19 lockdown. And according to the 2020 Police Annual Crime Report, gender-based violence cases shot to 3,280, with only 1,148 cases reported to police. From a survey done by Uganda Harm Reduction Network, among others, drug use is the leading cause of gender-based violence and demand is strong in girls between the age of 15 and 24. Because that they go through to access these drugs is what's actually alarming because sometimes they are forced to, to engage themselves in risky behaviors like uh, sex just to get money to facilitate their addiction. Cut, marijuana and alcohol are the predominantly used drugs in Uganda. <laughs> Josephine Nakariango, a 20-year-old street hustler, says that it is the only way to suppress depression. To sustain their addictions, they take a lot of risks. However, Latifa Luzinda, a clinician from Uganda Harm Reduction Network, says there is a solution to this challenge. We have a counsellor that offers psychosocial support for those that are facing emotional violence. But for the ones that face physical violence, we still manage. Uh, for the COVID era, this number actually doubled. Luzinda also says that they have adopted a social network strategy to get to the drug users since it has been effective in identifying drug users who need help. For us, we only need to reach one lady that is using drugs and facing this. After getting to that one person, it's that one person that leads us to all the others. But we've also identified people that we call peer educators, people that command respect within their hotspots or their drug user dens. Most of these people are quitting drugs, are within that journey of they have completely quit using drugs. So we use those people to pass on information. Butabika Hospital reports that they have between 800 and 1,000 patients of drug abuse but Luzinda says they now have options. We look at it as a public health issue rather than um, a crime. And it's a disease and it actually needs treatment. And now that we have that treatment, let's take a chance or let's use that. And someone can now completely get off drugs without fear of relapse. The 2016 Uganda Health and Demographic Survey shows that one in five women aged 15 to 49 have experienced sexual violence at some point in their lives and drug use has played part in the occurrence of events. Arafat Shafiq, NTV.